practice what? Communication. One of the number one killer of marriages and relationship is no communication. Talk. No matter how bad issues are, talk. Talk. How many of you know that a quiet person can be more dangerous than a noisemaker? Because if somebody is quiet, you don't know what the person has in his heart or her heart. Talk. Talk. Hallelujah. See, because no matter how anointed you are, listen, when you get into a relationship, are you following me? Patience, come. When you get into a relationship, now let's assume Abel is going out with patience. Abel, stand up. Assuming, come now, hold your up. Hold our hands. Let's save time, please. Hold our hands. Smile, you too now. Smile. <laughs> All right, come. Now, they are in a relationship. Please, everybody listen. Do you know, every time people come to me for counseling and prayers for relationship, I tell them, whenever you enter a relationship, please listen. See yourself as two farmers. Are you following me now? Two farmers holding a hoe together. And you are going to the farm to go and plow the land. Ready-made relationship does not exist. Write it. Everybody has weaknesses and strengths. When you say you love somebody next time, you are saying you love a sum total of their liabilities and weaknesses. Many of you want a perfect man. You want a perfect woman. You will never find it because you are not perfect yourself. Are you listening to me? Now, Ebe, where are you from? You are from Kogi. Where are you from? Venice. Now, this is Kogi. This is Benway. Two separate cultures. Is that true? Now, they love God. They all come for Koinonia, for instance. For instance. For instance. Except otherwise. For instance. <laughs> Hallelujah. She has her mindset that came from culture. He has his mindset that came from culture. Do you know that there will be frictions? Are you following me now? Those frictions are not a sign that the devil is eating you people up. They are just a sign that you are human beings. Are you listening to me? What is the remedy? Communication. Two of you sit down now. Find somewhere and sit down. Come. MD shift for them. Sit down now. We are acting with you people. Communication. Communication. Talk about it. Hallelujah. The guy does not eat pepper. You, you like pepper. You like seeing the pepper. You can carry it and put it in your mouth. The first day you made gari for him. You put pepper. You were smiling. Ah, The guy just touched it and headache just came on him. And now the brother doesn't want to talk. Ah, this pepper is killing him. He said, do you like it for him? I said, come on. This food was as sweet as you. And now you are, you are lying. Tomorrow you will suffer it again. She will make beans. Add pepper on it. She'll be telling everybody, you know my guy likes my cooking. He likes the pepper. Funny enough, this guy is dying. This pepper is killing him. Every time you eat her food, you must have a runny nose. Brother, what happened? I say, forget this. Everybody say communication. communication. Communication helps you to understand yourself. The Bible says husbands dwell with your wives according to knowledge. Love is not enough. Are you hearing me? Have you not seen a lovely roommate that you could not live with? How many of you love your roommates but you cannot take that same roommate next session? But you love them. Some of you, you that, some of you that are raising hands is your roommates that don't love you because of what you are doing. Hallelujah. Everybody say communication. It will enhance your relationship. Are you listening to me? There are many ladies that the moment you enter a relationship, you already have your expectations that only you know. I expect, at least I give this relationship five days, I should visit Chicken Republic. That's what you have in your heart. That's what you have wished and wondered. Every time I'm holding load, let the guy... That's what you have in your heart. Are you following me now? After five days, he doesn't take you out. He's paining you, but you cannot talk. Say it so that if it's not godly, you can flog it together. 
are you listening to me communication is one of the number one killer roommates that don't talk always fight the only way to know that he's angry is when he slaps you you say did he really hurt you he said it has been paining me why didn't you talk or got roommate why didn't you talk many ladies you are like that you don't talk you go and grumble to your friends and gossip to everybody and say this guy we went to the restaurant sam they were putting the ice cream on the machine chicken republic he just started taking it couldn't we sit down me i hate this thing and you were laughing all through the euphoria of the excitement and the guy thought that that's what you like he will repeat it again tomorrow hallelujah you invited him for dinner he wore one tie the shirt was torn he didn't notice it wasn't his business you tell him ah sweetheart um see when there is this chemistry between both of you you have come to be honest and true to yourselves are you following me now and you can jokingly tell him say you self i'm going to buy you a new a new trouser that your trouser has tried she has come into your life you don't joke you are always serious you are always praying you are always fasting you don't discuss the things you should discuss If all you are doing in your relationship is Bible study and prayer, you are not helping that relationship. Okay, sister, the Lord gave me a revelation. Shut up. Can't you talk about your lives? Are you not good? What is your best food? There are people, if we call some people in relationship now, you and you, what is your best food? The guy will say, Gary is his best food. You, you say is, is beans. You don't know yourselves. You are that much of strangers. Who is the Holy Spirit? You know, you know. What are the 12 names of disciples? You know, you know. When is Jesus coming? Soon, soon, you know. Where are two of you going? You don't know. Don't spiritualize things that you are supposed to do to help yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Everybody say communication. Very important. There must be communication. During a relationship. Number two. Set boundaries. Everybody say boundaries. Paul said the, although we are not under the law. But the Bible says the love of God does what? Please set boundaries. Some of you were in the world. Is that correct? And you had relationships where you were in the world. You could have sex anytime you want. You can spend weekend in the guy's house anytime you want. You can bath with the guy in the same bathroom. Now you are born again. You have left Egypt. Force Egypt to leave your mind. In Jesus' name. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Hallelujah. You must set boundaries. Stand up again, two of you. Come. This side, this side. Let's go. So you discuss. Abel, you are a great man. No, you are going far. But you are a man. Say I'm a man. Part of the reason why you ask this lady out is because you are physically attracted to her. True or false? Please say it. True or false? That means if you get married to her, you will sleep with her one day. True or false? And the reason why you are not sleeping with her now is not because you are an angel or a spirit. It's because you love the Lord. True or false? When you enter a relationship, you are vulnerable by default. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying, believers? What does that mean? You define it. What rules that you don't define, you will cross boundaries without knowing. You can be a Christian. Over 60% or more of Christian relationships have people sleeping around. The guy going to spend weekend in the girl's house. The girl going to from Koinonia now. Today is Friday, Abby. The grace of our Lord Jesus, your load is outside. You just carry, the guy takes you in his car. And he just goes, I was a service. Say, nice. Even if it's Benihin you watch throughout that night, sin is at your door. Correct? Say, but me, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't used to sleep with the guy. Yet, 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 keep going every day. The Bible says, and Lord settled near Sodom. He didn't enter Sodom. When they were coming to rescue him, where did they find him? In the middle of Sodom. This is how many people have gotten themselves into trouble. Discuss it. 
Sister, you are not firewood. Discuss it. You are emotional. Talk. Abel, you tell her. Say, look, I love God. And in this relationship, we are going to keep the values of the kingdom. If for any reason, any spirit or anything turns my head one day, don't be ashamed. This is somebody, are you saying it in, in the presence of the congregation? Please help me. Don't be disappointed that day. Just help me. Slap me or run. Just do something. Remind me of my destiny. Just put a picture of hellfire on your phone. Do something that will help me.